Hey guys, what's going on? Here it is, another podcast for you. This one's going to be deadly. I'm here with my boy, Bo, from Elite Marketing. Listen, this video, you're going to learn not only how to acquire trades cheaper than ever imaginable, but how to fill up your showroom floor like you've never seen it in your life. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm here with my man, Bo. I'm going to let him introduce himself here in a second. This guy's dangerous. He's been in the car business his whole life. Now he owns a marketing company. It's called Elite Marketing. Kind of crazy. You know, we got elite negotiations. My boy's got elite <laughs> marketing. It's just nuts, man. Uh, me and this guy are like twins. His energy is phenomenal. He's a driver. You know, he's been a GM in the business. He's ran the business. He's ran events. That's what he's do he does now. But he does more than that. You know, the market's changed, the economy's changed, and it's and it's asked for something, something that the market is thirsty for and that dealers need. And if you're a car salesman right now, car saleswoman, manager, GM, look, you want to watch this full podcast. Look, if you're a salesperson, dude, watch this whole thing and send this to your general manager. Do you want more vehicles on your lot for sale? Well, the answer is absolutely, because the more cars we have to sell, the more, more money we're going to make. It's that simple. But also, he has some methods that generate traffic like never before. It's insane. You're going to be absolutely in love with this guy when he's done just by his fire, his passion for the business. But obviously, he's been exactly where you're at. He's one of us, and his, 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 his content is insane um, on what he does, and his results um, are what it's all about. Because in the end, it's all about results. Um, Bo, go and introduce yourself. Number one, tell us how long you've been in the business and uh, a little bit about your company. Absolutely. Hey guys, I'm Bo Zachary and thanks for having me on Andy. Really you bet, appreciate dude, you it. Bet. Absolutely. Been looking forward to this. Uh, my name is Bo Zachary. I um, own Elite Marketing Events. I've been doing business for about 20, 25 years, something like that. It's been been a long time. But um, um, most importantly, we're very process driven and that's what makes me passionate about this business is eat, sleep, breathe sales and everything that comes about it. Um, Ex-military, believe in process, ex-paratrooper, I don't know if you knew that. I love it. Um, that's where we get our jump wings from. But I uh, just really believe in moving forward and moving forward with a hustle and making sure that we're uh, taking care of business while we're doing it. Yeah. And one of the things I'll say, and not to cut him off because I know this, I'm going to let Bo tell you everything he does, but I want to explain this to you. Right now, like right now, it's, it's, it's August. 2021 as we're shooting this right now every dealership in the country hey i don't know what the first quarter of 2022 is going to look like let's just worry about that when it gets here but today everybody right now they're paying all the dough at the auction okay or they're not buying any cars at all and they're not paying all the dough and they're going without cars so this guy has created a tool that supplies dealers with vehicles fast not only out of their database but he also has a tool on how to dig them out of facebook which is insane a lot of his dealerships are requiring 30 to 60 to you know, even 90 vehicles in addition a month. Well, just take what gross per average that you're running right now, and if you had those extra units, what would your life look like? Look, we know you're low on new car inventory. We know it, right? Everybody's low. So the pre-owned is what's keeping the machine surfacing right now. And by the way, the first thing on a profit statement is going to be sales. Okay, if that number in sales goes down, nothing else makes sense. So Bo is so good about staying with what the market's starving for and hungry for, which is trades. And he's found a way to create it and how to do it. Um, tell us a little bit about that. But I want to say something. This guy's all about winning. Okay, he doesn't have a company. He wants to win. That's all he does. So the people that he partners with are people who are winning. And this guy, if he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. When he says he's a paratrooper, you know, he's been in the military. What that means is that he plays with his heart. Okay. It's, he don't care about money. He cares about winning. And that's why I have him here with me. It's a very rare, rare deal. He's a true one percenter. So anyways, as you talk about your processes, basically what you're saying is there's a proven method that you have absolutely, that absolutely. gets the result that the people pay for and that they want. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of how the trade system, works. Let's, let's talk about before we get into more traffic, sure, let's no, just talk absolutely. about some trade methods and some of the, the ways you do them. And by the way, I'm gonna make sure that he gives you his phone number here in a minute, okay? Absolutely. You can send him a text message, ask him a question, right? Dude, he's got training, all the packets on how they do this, he'll send you one out. You wanna get on the phone with the guy for two minutes? Look, call the guy. That's what I like. I like being able to team up with people that know how to do things, um, either better than me, the same as me, or have different ideas. Absolutely. That's um, what, go ahead. That's what makes us strong. Thanks, Andy. So yes, yeah, so when it comes down to it, to be the best of the best, to have a company in we have to make sure that we align ourselves with 
with the best of the best that's out there. Mm -hmm. Just like you are in your training and results. We have to align ourselves with people that can get results today, right now. Number one thing we need during everything going on, and we need trades. We need trades, we need vehicles behind book, not paying thousands of dollars over book. And that's what we're doing right now. We're going to auctions and we're paying thousands of dollars over the book. So right now, that's what we have. We have mastered, completely mastered, a method of making sure that we can get dealers trade-ins. Ready for this? Two days. In two days, we're gonna get people in there. How are we gonna do it? Well, we partnered up with Facebook and actually we're one of, we're actually the only or one of the only companies out there in the country that's actually partnered with Facebook. What does that mean? That means not only are we overseeing but Facebook is using their algorithms to go into their systems and their customer base, which is millions, around you to then go ahead and mine out who it is in the market right now in your area to actually bring in their vehicles to trade in and why and you could get them at thousands of dollars below book rather than going to pay thousand dollars over book and that's exactly what they're doing and within two days they got they're setting up 100 150 appointments for dealers in one week's time just to go through the system to come in and trade in their vehicles andy and it's the most profound thing right now i know other people do these facebook events but nobody has partnered up go ahead and try but we have yeah and what's ended up happening is it's crazy um, what they determine where they determine where the marketing goes and here's the best part sure dealers might do it on their own from their own Facebook behind their desk but Facebook's the only one that knows when people are in the market we're not in market but when are they actually online yeah. When do you hit them? When they're online. Yeah. Most and, people don't know that. And, and I want to say this. Listen, so some of you, just to clear this up, I know you completely understand what he's saying. Listen, Facebook knows everything about your life. Okay. <laughs> if you're ordering lingerie for your wife, okay, mm -hmm. they, they know. All right. They know everything that you're doing. So mm -hmm. let me give you an example. They partner with Facebook. Mm -hmm. This is Bo. He partners mm -hmm. with Facebook. He says Facebook will tell them where we're going. Mm -hmm. So they don't say, all right, I got some money. Let's throw it out there. Absolutely. Like most companies. Facebook says, look, here's what we'll tell you. This is the, the result you want. Mm -hmm. This is where we're going to put it. And guess what? Boom. It's their system. It's their deal. They want you to be successful. And they're using mm -hmm. their company as test algorithms Absolutely. to see if what they want is working the way they want. And it is. So let me explain this to you. A week previously, we've got a customer. And this customer has not inquired to any car dealership. Nothing. But they went to maybe... You know, what is my car worth in ADA, value my trade? You know, maybe they got on the CarMax website and just kind of saw what a car was worth. In some way, shape, or hell, they could have said, because of AI, I wonder what our car's worth, honey, <laughs> and Facebook heard it. They heard okay? it. Okay? You know, I mean, they're not going to tell us all that, right? But it could have happened that way. And guess what happened? When that dollar goes to get spent to find that consumer, that person. they're finding that person okay you know I was sitting there the other day and I was with one of my buddies and we're talking about something and the next thing you know I get an email literally one minute later from Google yep. about buying that product I was talking about I thought shit guess what happens Facebook two minutes later they Boom. served me an ad Boy, I'm like product. dude if AI is not hearing and listening to everything we're saying it's insane. So the key to this is partnering with Facebook. A lot of people say that they're um, sponsored, they're backed up, they're partnered. It's a whole different level. Um, let you keep going, but I want to make sure, sure no, you know, you. that people understand that like when you say that, you know, you know where to spend the money, you know, a lot of people think they know where to spend the money. When Facebook's involved, they'll tell you where to spend the money. Absolutely. That right there is the difference maker. Um, go ahead. Absolutely. That way you, you know how to find these cars. And by the way, they're not just all trades. Guys, they're, they're cars for sale, okay? <laughs> Half these people are coming in, and they're not buying anything, and they're just selling it. Bottom line is we're acquiring trades, we're and we're calling it a trade, but we're acquiring vehicles, vehicles for sale, for back of book. From local customers mm -hmm. who want to sell their vehicle, not just trade, and that's a very important part, is sure, I, we can run an event, and they're going to come in, they're going to trade in, trade up, of course, you know those things, but you're going to capture that, that gold, that vehicle that's local, that's probably been serviced locally, behind value, and then sell later for, 
floor way above do what you do but at the end of the day on top of that we brought a partnership there's different things that come with it that nobody else in the country can do let me give you one example here's one a customer goes on Facebook or goes on they go on the internet they go on Google and they're searching for this vehicle what have you they get inundated with those ads for all the vehicles just like that in the area from every dealership like that right mm -hmm. well eventually what they do is they block those ads they don't want to see them anymore there's too many coming through and you as a dealer or anybody just try to do it on your own you hit that you can't hit that customer because they blocked it about 65% just to give you an accurate number 65% of people that go in the market and the blocking ads from dealers guess what as a Facebook partner we could barricade right through that and still serve those ads to those people that are still in the market today danger 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 and I could list it and list it and list it and just like you said and if you want to know how Simply just contact me, give me a call. Yeah, yeah, we'll listen. Talk. We'll hey, talk. Let, let, let's That's do it. this real quick. Listen, and by the way, we're going to keep going here, but Absolutely. I want you to do this. Um, take a pen, take a piece of paper. We'll make sure we put it on the screen below. Um, go ahead and give us your cell phone. By the way, call or text. I'd text the guy. I'd say, hey, it's Andy. Look, I have a couple questions about what you do, Bo. Right Look, can you give me a call? I mean, Absolutely. it's pretty simple. Uh, what, yeah. what, what's the cell phone number they can get a hold of you? Cell phone number direct is 919. 475-1625 919-475-1625 there you go hit the guy up man hey look you're a sales guy okay you, you're a manager you know you send it to your marketing department all right send it to your owner send it to your manager look you want to you want to acquire more vehicles look i'm at the end of the day send the podcast share it with somebody let them watch this and then in the end they can reach out to Bo. here we go go ahead absolutely so then the, so move, moving forward that's exactly what we do and the great part about it is guess what they actually send us the appointments that, that that these customers are making right on right on there so they're collecting all the algorithms they're sending us the appointments and then our BDC works until two o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let's on. stop there. Yeah, let's make sure. Let's, let's make sure that we understand. He says our BDC department. Mm -hmm. Okay, so listen. Look, I, I have a lot of friends that run a lot of businesses, and I want to. I want to explain this something to you. There's nothing our people right now that are winning can get to a lead fast. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. So what he's saying, he, he said 2 a.m. I don't know if you caught that. That's why we round that Thank fast you. because a lot of the times when a lead comes in. <laughs> it's after business yeah, hours. When, when a lead comes in, right. You know, you don't get to decide when that lead comes in, especially a Facebook lead. Mm. Facebook leads can come in at 1130 at night and at midnight all the time because we know people are up eating snacks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Playing around, got served a Facebook lead mm -hmm. or a Facebook uh, something. They got triggered, got interested, yeah. left something. Look, tomorrow, that thought's gone. Mm. Okay. Right now they're watching TV, eating some snacks, playing on their phone. They got an itch. Let's scratch it. Okay. Mm. So he's got a BDC department, right? That and uh, that handles these leads specifically. Now, can a dealer handle these leads themselves or, or you'll handle them if they don't want to handle them. It depends on how strong their team is and what their choice is, right? Well, pretty much they can or what handle, is they how can does it handle leads after I set the appointment because the leads are going to come right to mm. us through Facebook. The second we see a comment on their page that we created for them, the second within within under one minute, our BDC is on them commenting and talking to them personally, setting up the appointment for the dealer. Every single day the dealer comes in the morning, they're going to have a list of all the appointments for the day of people that want to either A, Bam. buy a car or trade in their local or sell you okay so trade. so it's pretty simple so an owner who's yep. going out and simple. investing typical i'm just gonna say traditional advertising put an ad out there get a lead your team takes the lead let's see what happens this guy says no i know my system works look we're going to get the lead and then we're going to handle the lead ourselves. We're going to set the appointment, and all you got to do is have your boys fired up, jacked up, ready to rock and roll. Every man, every woman ready to sell cars and ready to do business. We'll bring them in. Is that right? We're going to do all the work. All you have to do is, is either sell. buy the car or sell them another one. It's up to you. That's Online. it. We handle Abra everything. Abracadabra. <laughs> bada boom, bada bang, and it's over. And every single day you come to work, there's people wanting to come in and do business, either sell or trade or buy that's it it's easy <laughs> and it really is that simple and guys that's crazy and matter of fact i've got dealers i've got dealers that are just throwing numbers out there at you i got dealers and all over the place that are not only is it productive for by the way the event lasts for about five six days I can just so you know for, yeah. for a whole week but then they're on day three and they want to repeat it the next week and the next week they, why wouldn't you just keep it going if customers would keep coming that's right yeah so if you haven't listen 
This is not a traditional style event, okay? This is easy. You know, he's not he's not bringing in, loading your show up for with a bunch of, he's got a sales team. That, he's not asking you, he's telling you this. You want more cars to sell, right? Mm. You want you want to sell more cars, right? Mm -hmm. You need more inventory. Real easy, you text the guy, you call him, let him tell you what he does. He shows you how easy it is. And by the way, it's a like you said, it's a weak deal. So what their goal is, is that you have an opportunity to prep and mm -hmm. prepare and train the sales team that look, we've put on an event. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have to make any cold calls. You guys don't have to take these leads. You guys just gotta understand how these leads come in. And do you prep and prepare the the, the sales managers, the sales teams That's a very good for point. the events? I Absolutely. mean, because pre preparation's the mother of success. It's, a, it's, a, it's a everything, you know, pre preparation leads to success. So not only do we talk to them on the phone, walk them through, or take them through the page, or show them how it works, or make them understand it, and let them know that they could they could follow it, kind of just like following from behind the scenes, kind of like a football coach just kind of watching the game play go down, mm -hmm. and we're gonna win the game together. But the other thing about it too is if they have a little bit of, maybe, maybe they don't have the right person on the ground, or maybe they don't have the, the manager free to handle these leads coming in and the phone calls and things like that. If they need somebody, we could send somebody in to handle all that for them too. So we handle leads yeah. and we can help them manifest everything. Yeah, he's got a killer on his team, guys. What, what's your boy's name? We got a couple. I got Charles Harris yeah. out there. Yeah, Charles. I love Charles. Charles. Yeah, he's yeah. got a whole bunch of guys. But yeah, look, we got a bunch. He's got a guy named Charles. I talked to one of my dealer buddies the other mm. day, and they Solid. did business with him. Long story short, um, the guy just said, he goes, look, my sales guys are shy, okay? I, I don't know. They want to sell cars, but they, they don't, they don't want to follow a new program. Um, a lot of them been in the business 10 years. I think they know it all. Um, hey, look, what you're saying is great. I want the trades. I wish I could sell more cars. But my guys, no matter mm -hmm. what, they're not going to listen. So we said, cool, no big deal. Listen, let me ask you this. What if we brought in Charles and had mm -hmm. Charles in there? Absolutely. And Charles took every appointment that came every in. One. And he bought every car and he convinced the customers to sell every car. And then if they wanted to buy a car, he would flip them over to a salesperson who only wanted to sell cars. And guess what? They were like, okay, let's try that. And all of a sudden, guess what? They got three times the results because Charles is three deadly times. at this. He's your guy you've invested he, in he's forever. He's the guy. He's, he's yeah. the closer on the floor. He's able to use for everything. And when he comes into work, that's all he does is he works those customers. He gets them in. He greets them. He meets mm -hmm. them, sits them down. He ensures the investment's taken care of. You, he basically brings you the gold. You just decide, you just decide where you want to put it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's amazing. So the idea is there's lots of different ways you can do it. Yes, sir. So even if a dealer's like, man, sounds great. Just my people don't listen. To, well, no we'll big deal. You. That's it. Yeah. So that's a really neat deal. And I think that's important. So from having the product, okay, because the product's important and it's got to work. It can give you end results, whether you've got the sales team or whether he needs to bring in a man to help make sure that the results you want get there and more. Um, let's talk about traffic, okay? okay I mean, obviously, everybody's got a picture painted here, how to get more cars, sure. you know, whether they're a trade or whatever. It's just acquiring more inventory sure. so that people can have cars on the ground to sell sure. until we can figure out what this market's going to do. Is it going to go down? Is it going to stay the same? I don't know. But guess what? You damn sure can't be paralyzed with fear and not do anything, mm -hmm. okay? Being paralyzed with fear will cost you $100,000. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. It should, may, may cost you half a million dollars or even a million you got to make a move. There's good decisions, bad decisions, and indecision. The worst decision of all is indecision. Sitting there. Okay, yeah, don't sit on your hands. <laughs> make a move, and guess what? Be ready and stay ahead of your competition, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the goal of this game. People with courage win. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Um, let's talk about more traffic. If I got okay. a dealer right now, um, and he's like, hey, you know what? To be honest, man, I mean, my showroom's a little em empty. Sure. I I'm not saying that, um, you know, we don't have a little bit of people, but it feels flat. Plan. compared to what we had as we've been laughing our way to the bank all year long it'd be nice to have a little more people in here uh tell us a little bit about that absolutely well my, my mentality is for for every minute that goes by that there's not a button inside a car seat test driving and we're losing money so my job is to get people in the door so besides that first and foremost you mentioned staying staying with the trends i have to know what's going on in the market today so i have to be able to master not only getting them custom um, getting them trade-ins or vehicles rather to sell i have to be able to be able to master getting them customers to come in to buy those vehicles right and that and that's actually what we do so besides doing the digital side we, well basically we also have mastered um patented actual uh, custom targeted direct mailers to people to bring them into the dealership to then you sell them cars okay we're talking about in the mail in, in that, that that direction but we could back up 
We okay. can back up either way if you want. So I can Yeah, let's talk it. about both ways real quick. Both ways. So the Facebook brings buyers and it also brings people bringing in their vehicles. The mail side of it is how I can reach out to 10, 20, 30, 40,000 people locally and bring them in in a condensed amount of time up to, I mean, I've had to cut as much as, depends how much a um, dealer could handle. But basically we could bring in anywhere from 10 to 100 people in a day, depending on the type of traffic they can handle, okay. is basically what we do. Okay, so I want to ask you a question because I know a lot of people right here, you know, know, this is where they're like, hey, I hate mail. I you know hear what I mean? You. And the deal is, is they say, look, we've been giving away coins for years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Right. Gold coins. You right. Do that, man. Did my three gold coins match? <laughs> can you, without giving away your secret sauce, right? Yes, yes. Can you tell us? Yes. Um, you know, so, so somebody can reach out and actually ask you Absolutely. what you do. Can, can you give them a, a, a way just so people can envision how you use your mail to be deadly? Absolutely. That separates yourself from the rest of the world. That's the, probably one of the best questions I've gotten in a long time. The thing about it is this, if we continue to do the same thing all the time, then we'll continue to get the same results other people have gotten. Right. So I've had to come up with different ways so that I'm not just another mail company, another three gold coins, what have you. So staying in touch with today's technology, just like we just talked I'm talking about the Facebook side. If we could do that on the Facebook side, don't you think that we're going to partner up with, with uh, today's type of analytics, today's type of digital aspect that's going to let me know what the best methods of doing things today based off what's available to me. Now, and do you, that's, use, the, do you but, use the dealerships, um, you know, customers a lot of the time when you're doing your direct mail? Or absolutely. do you do it based off the market alone? Do you try to tie those two together or no? I can do either way. We have some dealers that they already, they already hit their database. So they go, oh, I'm ready to hit my database, okay? okay. That's not a problem. So you're going to go outside of that. So I'm going to go outside of the database. But what I am going to go to is I'm going to go to, so if you're a Nissan dealer, you want all imports, I'm going to make sure that I get a piece of mail, a strong, targeted, patented, because I had to come up with a form that it actually works, mm -hmm. okay, piece of mail in front of every import buyer that falls down in the qualifications of what you're looking for. You want a two to five year old customer, two to five year old vehicle, a customer's driving to come on in, I'll get them right there in front of you. Give me about a week and I'll have them in the door. Yeah, so one of the cool things I was going to tell you, a buddy of mine teamed up with him, same deal, um, he sells trucks. Long story short, they go to the auction right now, they can't buy trucks, okay, trucks are high as crap. What he did, he went into their database, okay, and mm -hmm. they did it. We want to buy back your trade deal, mail piece, and I'm not going to tell you how he did it, but only to buy the pickup trucks. And in the last five years, every single person, every single person that purchased a pickup truck from that store that had a pickup truck, mm -hmm. they sent a mail or two. And I, I can't remember how many they sent out, maybe 8,000 or something like that. Long story short, my buddy ended up buying like 30 trucks. Mm -hmm. Look, dude, I'm just going to tell you this. And by the way, half for trades, half for buying. They did it right out of their own database. Okay, now these are people that we worked hard with. We spent hours with already that we're getting back in. Like he said, have you tapped out your database before or have you not touched it? And honestly, a lot of people have been like, man, you know, I don't think that that works. Look, you can't think. You've got to do something if you haven't do it, have done it because you don't know what the results look like because you haven't done it. Mm -hmm. And listening to what your buddy did, maybe he did it wrong. With the wrong people. The, I, exactly. Wrong product, wrong product. They didn't have the right methods. And and, and, that's, and that's something I learned a long time ago. Just because someone has done something from, for a long time doesn't mean they're good at doing it. No, that's it. Well, I'm, I'm a sales trainer. <laughs> right. There's lots of people that train, and the idea of it is, is some do it good, some do it great, and some are unstoppable. And your goal is to partner with people. And here's the deal. We're all in the automotive space. The one thing is we're all very street smart, okay? What we do is that we know what flim-flam bullshit looks like. Okay. And by the way, I don't partner with people and I don't be around people and I don't have friends like that. Okay. So in my circle, the people that I like close to me are people that I know that are after the winning at the highest level and they don't want to win for themselves. They want to win by watching their clients win. And that's the coolest thing. So that's why with Bo is, you know, here today with us, he's got a really neat product. You know, I've got a lot of buddies I partner with that do some really cool stuff, even with other Facebook things sure. that are amazing. Sure. But Bo is niched out. I always say this, learn your niche, you get rich. Okay. Bo knows how to create good customers. Okay. Not a showroom full bunch of people running around looking for three gold coins. <laughs> also, and, I, and you know what I mean? Every salesperson's like, dude, I know exactly yeah, what you absolutely. mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because you know what I'm saying? Because once you've had that happen one time, you know, it just, it got a little bit discouraging for you. So it could put a bad taste in your mouth. Well, here's the deal. 
Things have changed. People have changed. We've changed. It's time to go back and look at, at people who are doing things great and that are getting results. He's got references and referrals that you can call him and just call the owners of these stores and say, hey, man, you know, tell me about Bo. Look, they'll tell you in 30 seconds. I don't care. It doesn't have to do with him. It has to do with the end result and the fact that he's winning. Okay, so, um, you know, we got 7 billion people in this world. Like you said, you know, Facebook don't have access to millions. They got billions. <laughs> they're watching. They're listening. They know what's going on. You're partnering with people that are partnered with the big guys, okay, like Facebook, Bo is and um, you know and I believe in him not only does he want to win but he's a great guy man I mean it's unbelievable hey I like dealing with people that are good people truly man there is nothing like dealing with the vendor because he's not a vendor he's like my brother but you deal with somebody who's a vendor you know it's like dude you know they they really don't care if they need your business or want your business I've watched this guy and I'm just going to say this and we won't run this too far but I've watched this guy a couple years back you know he did he did a mail sale for a a company and um, you know they had some salespeople that were really against it Okay, mm-hmm. I call it self sabotage, mm-hmm. where the salespeople literally kick people off the lot. They didn't want them there. We had a weak management staff in that store, mm-hmm. and you know, Bo went and you know, at the end, he ate it. He didn't even pay for it. He goes, dude, you know what? I shouldn't have partnered with these people. They didn't want to win. Mm-hmm. You know what they wanted? They wanted a fucking miracle. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. We're not in the business for miracles. We know mm-hmm. with what we do works. Mm-hmm. If the company wants it, we want it. We're gonna get it. Absolutely. That's it. Absolutely. It's a two-way street every day of the week with who you partner with on your vendors. And the deal is, is as you train with me, you know I'm real, and I'm telling you this guy's as real as they get. Um, if you want to get more trades, you know, if you want to buy more cars, if you want to get more traffic on your showroom floor, look, this is made in August, okay? August of 2021, when we're in massive demand. You might be watching this two years from now and say, man, there's thousands of cars <laughs> everywhere now. Look, that's great. We're gonna have a whole new set of problems right now. Absolutely. But at that point, you still need his number because he's still gonna be up to date at this time up and you date, reach out to him. Um, give him your number again one more time yeah. so they can reach out to you. That's 919-475-1625. 919-475-1625. One six two five. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. I'll call you back. I'd love to uh, be able to talk with you. But you know, you hit something real quick before you brought up relationships, mm-hmm. and I want to touch base on that because it's not just about having a vendor. I'm not a vendor. What I have done is made sure I scour the entire country to find out who's the best of the best in every segment, so I can offer you the best as my relationship. That's and it. It's about building relationships with people, not just selling the product. Because if I can't stand behind it, then then what do I have any business selling it for? Yeah, your goal is to get invited. Back back again a million times <laughs> time and time right? again not yeah. one and done baby <laughs> yeah that's what i was going to tell you it's just like anything i train guys they get results guess what we train again, again. it's real easy you train a guy you don't get results you don't train again he finds another mm-hmm. he finds another guy mm-hmm. so if somebody's looking for another person that maybe you can just have a conversation with that's it about maybe some cool things that might happen in your company reach out to bo bo thank you for serving man i'm thank just going to tell you thank you, very you know much. i don't say that thank much, you very much military guy right here paratrooper uh, paratrooper crazy ass you know he's crazy Crazy. You can tell by looking at him in the face, you don't know how crazy he is. <laughs> hey, this we guy, all, he's also plays in a band. He's a singer. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's just crazy. And uh, the, the car business has the most amazing comeback stories ever. If your dealership needs help, this guy right here, he's your brother. He's straight on the path. I could do uh, it. Have, a, have a simple conversation with him. Hey, guys, we love you. Well, until the next podcast, crush it, kill it. See you guys soon.